So Ethereum in 2032, you have a node, your node runs on your phone. Every uh, 12 seconds or 32 seconds or whatever number we uh, agree on, you download 3.6 megabytes of data, you hash it, you do a couple of uh, elliptic curve equations to check a snark, that's it. You know the block is valid. Wait uh, 12 seconds, get 33.6 megabytes of data, hash it, do some elliptic curve operations, verify the snark, and uh, valid. 12 seconds later, data, hash, elliptic curve check, valid. The whole process just becomes incredibly sleek and uh, seamless to the point where like literally a phone could even do it, right? Because it's incredibly light on computation. The only thing that it's heavy on is data and data uh, just happens to be the thing that, you know, phones are increasingly getting insanely good at and will get even better at over the next 10 years. That to me is uh, what I see the yeah, final goal being from a yeah, protocol standpoint. Take a look at this Bitcoin price chart. While Bitcoin, which is considered the king of the cryptocurrency market, struggled in 2023, it suddenly shot up during the first quarter of 2024. And you can see it right here on the chart. Now, if you're wondering what exactly happened around this time, I have one simple answer, and it's Bitcoin ETFs. Right around this time, on January 10th, 2024, the SEC approved the world's first Bitcoin ETF. And the rest is history. Bitcoin smashed its previous all-time high in 2021, setting a new record at $73,780. Fast forward five months and there's another big player in the crypto market making it to the headlines, Ethereum. The SEC has just approved applications from NASDAQ, CBOE, and NYSE to list exchange-traded funds ETFs tied to the price of Ethereum. For those who might not know, an ETF is an investment fund and exchange-traded product that you can trade on the stock exchange. Now, the crypto market is delighted by the news. But in the middle of all this excitement, no one is asking the real questions. Could the approval of Ethereum ETFs be a double-edged sword for the crypto market and Ethereum investors? How bad can the approval of Ethereum ETF be for you as a crypto investor? That's why I'm here today. In this video, we'll uncover the hidden risks tied to the recent approval of Ethereum ETFs. And trust me, it's not all sunshine and rainbows when it comes to these ETFs. Before we dive into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. The SEC and Ethereum ETFs, a delightful dilemma. The SEC's recent approval of Ethereum ETFs comes at a pretty interesting time. They're currently figuring out whether to classify Ethereum as a security. And just to spice things up, the U.S. House of Representatives has voted in favor of new legislation to bring more clarity to digital asset regulations. This approval of the ETH spot ETF after months of political back and forth is definitely a game changer. It opens the doors for institutional investors to dive into Ethereum, despite the SEC still debating if Ethereum should be considered a security. This is a big win for the crypto community. But hold on, just because the SEC has given the thumbs up doesn't mean we can start trading those Ethereum ETFs right away. Issuers still need to get individual ETF registration statements approved by the SEC. This creates a bit of a delightful dilemma. On one hand, the approval is a huge leap forward for Ethereum and the crypto market. On the other hand, the waiting game and regulatory hoops mean investors need to stay on their toes. And then there's the other side of the coin, the dark side that everyone seems to overlook. So how bad can it be? Well, there are many reasons to be concerned as a crypto investor. Ethereum ETFs could threaten decentralization. So, let's talk about a big potential downside of these Ethereum ETFs, the threat to decentralization. Here's what's going on. To get the green light from the SEC, the issuers of Ethereum ETFs had to drop the clause about staking clients ETH. While this helped speed up the approval process, it could have serious long-term consequences for the network's security. Since Ethereum switched to a proof-of-stake system back in September 2022, validators have to lock up their ETH in a process called staking. They get rewarded for securing the network, but can face penalties for poor performance. This system works well to keep things secure and decentralized. Well, at least in theory. But centralization issues are already popping up. Some validators have stockpiled a huge chunk of the staked ETH, leading to concerns about entities like the liquidity provider Lido, which some critics are even calling a cartel. Now let's look at Bitcoin ETFs in the US for a moment. 
Coinbase, for example, holds a whopping 90% of the total assets for spot Bitcoin ETFs. That's a lot of power concentrated in one place. If the same thing happens with Ethereum ETFs, it could be a serious problem. Here's why. Coinbase is already the second largest Ether validator. And guess what? They're set to be the custodian for six of the nine companies planning to launch an Ethereum ETF. If the enthusiasm for these Ethereum ETFs matches what we saw with Bitcoin, this could lead to a massive concentration of power. When too much control is in the hands of a few, it undermines the very principle of decentralization that cryptocurrencies like Ethereum are built on. It could make the network less secure and more vulnerable to attacks or manipulations. The Impact of Ethereum ETFs on the US Dollar Traditionally, there's been a strong correlation between Ethereum and the US dollar, but with the potential influx of investments into ETH due to these new ETFs, things could get interesting. As more investors sell their dollars to buy Ethereum, we might see a slight dip in the dollar's value. Imagine this, a wave of enthusiasm around ETH ETFs causes a surge in investments, leading to a minor depreciation of the dollar. And while there's a lot of speculation about cryptocurrencies eventually replacing fiat currencies, the approval of an ETH ETF is a huge, huge step towards making cryptocurrencies more accessible and mainstream. In the short term though, the US dollar's value is likely to be influenced more by macroeconomic factors. Think about the cooling US economy and the potential for lower interest rates this year. These factors have a much bigger impact on the dollar compared to the crypto market's movements. Plus, with growing geopolitical tensions, investors might be hesitant to dive into speculative assets like cryptocurrencies, which could affect demand for Ethereum. So, while the approval of Ethereum ETFs is exciting and could shake things up a bit, you should know that the dollar's value will still mainly depend on broader economic trends. Ethereum ETF Approval – A Ticket to Scam and Bankruptcy? Could the approval of Ethereum ETFs be a ticket to scams and bankruptcy? Sounds dramatic, right? Well, let's unpack this. So, Peter Brandt, a renowned analyst, has identified some red flags about the future of staking in the crypto market, particularly with Ethereum and Solana. He's saying that staking is a lot like leveraging, and it exposes investors to huge risks, including the possibility of losing it all or even going bankrupt. Here's how staking basically works. Investors lend out their ETH or SOL at an interest rate, hoping to make some returns. But according to Brandt, this is basically like fully leveraged trading. It might look great on the surface, but it's loaded with risks. Leveraging means borrowing to boost your investment, which can increase your gains, but also your losses. Brandt is super skeptical about staking profits, comparing them to collapsed scams like Ponzi schemes where those high returns were just a dream. So his warning is clear. While staking might seem like an easy way to earn passive income, you need to understand the big risks involved. High returns often come with high risks, especially in the volatile world of cryptocurrencies. And it's not just Brandt sounding the alarm. Benjamin Schifrin, the director of securities policy at Better Markets, calls the approval of Ethereum ETFs a historic mistake. He believes it will only ramp up the risks for investors in the already wild crypto industry. Schifrin worries that more people will jump into staking without fully understanding the risks, leading to more scams and financial losses. So, while the approval of Ethereum ETFs might come as a historic leap forward for the cryptocurrency market, the risks involved are quite serious, and that's why investors should always stay informed about the risks before diving deep into any kind of asset. Another reason for you to be extra careful is the recent warning from Warren Buffett about a market crash. Watch our next video to hear what he has to say. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like before moving to the next one. Get the conversation going in the comment section below. I will be back with another insightful video soon, right here, only on Investing Machine.